Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna try and figure out if it's safe to run with a common cold. I made this video because I recently caught the common cold and I was trying to figure out if it was safe to run with it. And then I figured, look, if I'm trying to figure out if it's safe to run, you might be too. So I made this video. Disclaimer time, I'm not a medical doctor. All of our bodies are different. What works for me may not work for you. And to use that tagline from an old advert on TV here, take your doctor's advice it's the best medicine. Now, with all that being said, let's get going. The first question is, is it the common cold? Well, ASICs have a very good page explaining all this. It's written by a GP and a runner, Elizabeth Kilcourse. I'll put a link in the description below. But effectively, influenza and the common cold are acute respiratory viral illnesses. The main difference between the two is the severity. With the common cold, you'll get runny nose, sore throat, headaches. But with the flu, you'll probably get added higher temperatures, you get muscle aches, and you can have other symptoms as well. As it happened, uh, I didn't have an increase in my temperature and my muscles felt fine. So that was sort of pointing me towards the cold. I also got the flu vaccine this year, which I'd never got before, but post COVID, I decided to get the flu vaccine as well as the COVID vaccine. Speaking of COVID, I had to try and rule out whether it was COVID. I made a video last year about running with COVID that I'll link at the end. But essentially, the one thing I noticed in all the data that I check, and every day I check stuff on the Garmin, the Apple Watch, the uh, blood pressure monitor from Withings, the temperature from Withings. So I measure all those just routinely anyway. But when I got COVID, my heart rate variability plummeted. But as well as checking those, I then did antigen test, the old Twizzler stick up the nose. But in this instance, my heart rate variability was fine and uh, I passed all the antigen tests. So uh, yeah, I could pretty much rule out COVID. And my simple advice is don't run with COVID. My doctor put me on steroids eventually last year. And, uh, but take, if, it's, if it's COVID, take a break. So I ruled out influenza and I ruled out COVID. Time to talk about the neckline because depending on whether the symptoms are above the neck or below the neck, you need to take different actions. Let's talk about above the neck first. Sniffles, snot rockets, headaches. You can run with an asterisk. We'll come back to the asterisk. And let's say below the neck, tight chest, high temperature, aching muscles, something going wrong in the bottom department. No, don't run, rest. There are benefits to running with a cold. Running produces adrenaline. You naturally feel better. It can act as a natural decongestant for myself. I can clear out some of the stuff. And uh, of course, it has a huge mental well-being benefit, but it also has risks. One of the risks is you develop a respiratory tract infection. You don't own one of those. You prolong your infection, and also you don't give yourself time to recover, and everyone needs recovery time. So what did I notice when I had the common cold? Well, I monitor everything. So let's just talk about the monitoring first. My uh, heart rate elevated a little bit during the week. A couple of days it was resting, it's typically 50 or below, and it went up to about 55, 56. So nothing major, but it did go up. Um, also my blood pressure rose a little bit, which usually it's all in the green zone. I measured on with uh, this uh, Withings uh, blood pressure monitor. And typically it's all in the green zone, but it sort of went up a bit. It's returned to normal at this stage, but increased blood pressure is often a sign. Again, the heartbeat and your, your blood pressure, your body is uh, struggling to cope with something that's attacked it, I guess. And so, yeah, you'd expect that. It's all very well monitoring all the stuff, but essentially I felt terrible. Some days better than others. Lots of phlegm or sputum, I think it's called, after you've coughed it up. Uh, unpleasant, bad sleep. Um, essentially though, I mean, I, years ago, uh, my doctor told me to look at the, the phlegm or the sputum or the mucus. And if it's green, it could be serious and infection, but it wasn't. Um, I, if, it's, if it's green, stop, don't run get it checked out by a doctor. There's also lots of other colors I looked up on the internet, like if it's red, if it's yellow, if it's black. Essentially, if it's any color other than normal, go see the doc. So did I run? Well, yeah, for the purposes of making this video, I ran. I put myself through all this just for you. Well, actually what happened was, um, I, I, today is Wednesday. I, I sort of noticed it's a Sunday before when I was in, in Italy. Um, and I came back and I ran just 5K last week. I just uh, felt okay one evening, went out. I actually had a lovely run. I felt good, cleaned out the pipes. Um, but I did what I'd recommend everybody do. I monitored all the stuff before I went out. I monitored all my heart rate, particularly during, and I monitored it after. And it was, it was pretty good. So uh, yeah, I, 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 I did run in the middle of last week. 
asterisk time I didn't run all the time even though I, it was above my my neckline and nothing in my chest I felt lousy all weekend Saturday and Sunday so I just you know I, I, I took to the bed as they say here not actually staying in bed but I just lay on the couch for the entire weekend watching rugby and bits of the Super Bowl and uh, reading Ulysses but I totally switched off as it happens, I had to go to the doctor on Monday because I think I've got yet another frozen shoulder. But anyway, I went to the doctor and I ran home. It was 5K back and again, I took it really handy. This was on Monday and I monitored everything as I went along. I monitored my heart rate on both the watches. No sprinting, no heavy exertions, no long running because I don't want to weaken the immune system. And even though I'm training for a marathon, a little bit of taking it easy will pay off in the long run. Literally. So what did I find out? Well, you can run with a cold, or at least I could, um, once it was above my neckline. Um, it's best not to get one. You could follow all the usual stuff we did during COVID to try and avoid getting infections. I think they're, they're higher now. Lots of people here in Ireland have it. Lots of my friends, lots of colleagues at work because we stayed away from people for so long that it takes a natural uh, toll once you get back to meeting people but essentially if you are running with a cold it's really good or any virus stay away from people so that you're not running in close proximity to them consider wearing a mask i <laughs> i wore a marathon or i ran a marathon wearing a mask well four different versions that i swapped over early on in the days of covid and ease back into your training as it happened my marathon pr which i set last year was after the worst block of injury in the middle of my training so i'm kind of hoping i might uh, hit it lucky again this time so yeah when you're doing your marathon training and you get a cold or an injury you're thinking i need to get out i need to get out i get need to get out but you know sometimes you need to just stop and listen to your body not just the voices in your head I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it would be great if you did the like button. As always, there'll be lots of stuff down in the descriptions below and I'll happily answer any questions you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there and some red videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.